two feet as well. But and was that like something we're you heating to... it up right now, and then we're gonna take that and tighten it. So we've got it up to the temperature, the two sixty. But is that like something you had to press on the Arduino, or does just have yeah, it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in here, so so it did it. I just you know I just heat tightened it. Just uh, so here go prepare. Mm -hmm. No, no, go to main. Go to control. Control and temperature. Press once. Control. Temperature. Mm. Nozzle. Two sixty. Oh, okay. Nice. Light goes on. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Put the scum back back on. Uh, we gotta tighten. <laughs> so we gotta take off the fan. See here, you want to kind of turn off the power because it start breaking blades. But oh no, actually we we'll go like this. So do that and tighten your thing because it's not kind of where's the piece of film that we got? Okay, we gotta use the piece of film to align it. So I would do. You know exactly where you gotta tighten the mm -hmm. or location the the, the oh, cooling block. So, right, so now when you feel the, I mean, you can touch the, the cooling block, no problem. And that's when you know that's right. That's, everything is getting cooled properly. So, see like that slides back and forth a little bit. Oh yes, ah uh, yeah, capture that. So, so how do we align, so now, Actually, this block is loose, so it's loose because it wasn't tightened. You have adjustment that's on purpose, so we can manufacture this without tight tolerance because the holes there are oversized to five millimeters per three millimeter hole, so you get one one millimeter of play in each direction. So now press down on the lever, insert the filament. And now this pretty much got located, you know, straight under the filament. You know, you look at the filament, the filament should be straight down, and that's when you tighten it. That's the right location to tighten it. Because you know it's aligned right now. And this block is the good block, that's not the truncated one. So we just tighten that. And that's it, then move the fan back over. <coughs> Here, this power should be off because if you hit the blade, you'll break it. So there. Okay. Put the heat sock back on. We just heat tightened. We're ready to press extrude. Extrude happens at temperature. So the first thing we got to do is get it back up. Oh, I put the sock on the wrong way. It has polarity. Right there. Okay, so go back to um, nozzle, and you can start extruding above 180 C. Control temp temperature, nozzle, just once again set it to high. Uh, so now we can go, we're heating the nozzle. You can read the temperature off the main screen, which says right now 86, 87, 89. Um, you have to be at temperature for you to hit the, tr the extrude button on the screen. So we're up at 130. Takes about two minutes to heat up. Is that automatic? Battery Is that got like um, battery power? And yeah, take a lot. Just the building upside down right now. Okay, one ninety one. So that's that's enough. Um, I'm gonna actually take it. So take it back down to two thirty. Is about where you want to be, so you don't burn the filament. Actually, <coughs> so about two thirty. Um, so that light went off because it's above 230 already. 
so go go back to motion. No, go go to prepare. Prepare, move, move axis. Okay, go to move one millimeter because that's the one that's going to enable you to do the extruder. So then, extruder. So remove axis extruder. Hit that, and then go to a plus value. Look at that. We've got the right direction. So keep keep going because it need, needs time to prime, pump prime the wells because we're in Texas, <laughs> uh, and the black goo is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that's so beautiful uh, and that's that's fat it's 1.2 nozzles so you're ready to print pretty much so this is where we go to the pre-cad lesson um, so we, we should got, do like a hmm? it's got tail coming out it's yeah. still yeah, extruding okay. so now like okay let's talk about orienting the bed so it's like okay we got magnetic attachment um and then the bed, when you put it on, it has to clear. Oh yeah, so it clears the. It can clear the. Oh, look at that! Look at an artifact here. Um, Quality control artifact. So you see your belt. Look at that! Look at what's happening down there. I move that. See what happened? Oh, the belt just hit the, the stop. belt. Triggered the stop. Mm. Like that. So make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, so what you probably want to do, move it on the other side than the belt belt plug. Oh, I see, because that way uh, this thing is above. Right. Mm. It wouldn't go above. There wasn't enough room. Yeah. yeah I made it so, work from the bottom. Oh wait, like this? Yep. Oh yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So put it on the bottom. That's a solution. Otherwise, you have to raise this platform. No, yeah. Which, if it works, is good. If you want, need to raise the platform to clear, it's like you're like a millimeter above this. It's working right now. If you needed to raise the platform, put more magnets on this. And to explain the platform, so we've got solid metal plate, magnetic. It's not. It's steel. It's spring steel, flexible with with built tack surface so this is uh you can remove the prints easily from it and it snaps on pretty tight but what we wanted to say here is where do we put the bed exactly so you get the full six inch motion uh, you want to hold it and observe where the nozzle is and then put that at the if you're looking from the front let's pull that at the front then the nozzle wants to be like right at the corner and but once you set it there so like we have the flexibility to move the bed wherever, right? So you kind of have to decide where that is. So put the corner right below the, right above. When it's triggered on the end stop, because that's the. Mm. Uh, so you want to you want to be wherever you are, but then you want to leave still six inches of travel. So do we have six inches of travel here? No, not really. So we need to move the bed. <coughs> like at the limit, that's where you need to be. So that means the end stop has to be wherever. Mm. Yeah, that, that about works. But now we're having. I'm observing. We've got a little tightness going to the end here, which is what's going on here. Got the belt getting in the way. Excess belt. Oh, the <coughs> excess belt. Trim it. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just it was a little tighter going to the back. As long as we can move, as long as we can we hit, hit, it, no, hit. Um. Like I, I noticed it was a little tight, but if we can move against it and it just works, then. Don't really need to fix it. Fix it. So, go to prepare. Out of home. See, yeah, I mean it still works, so we're we're okay. Even though it's kind of tight, but yeah. So it's right in the corner. So we're we're in a good position, like right there. That's good. I mean, I don't need to go any further. Um, 
So now we're ready for a test print. So let's get a, an SD card. You can download something off the wiki real quick. So let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Well, mm -hmm. the goal is here that, so let's see that we can all print. And then the next step is let's start designing stuff so we can print it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's download a file. You got internet, go to 